All right, to those that ain't gonna like this video, be sure to put a thumbs down. You know, I, I got somebody messing with me, and I think it's funny. If I can get a thousand thumbs down, hell, I'll be happy. <laughs> so uh, anyway, <laughs> had to be a smart Alec. But um, hey, check this out. I know I made that video last night kind of long, um, and I probably should have added this on to it. But anyway, I'm gonna try and keep this video as short as possible. Okay. But um, anyway, let's get on with it. So like the last time I went to the vape shop and I was tasting different um, um, juices, I uh, did something a little bit different. The very first time, I should say, they uh, put little drops of the juice on my finger and I put it on my, on my tongue, you know? I was like, man, it just really screwed me up, man. Um, messed my taste buds up big time. So this last time that I did go to the uh, vape shop, and I was testing some different ones and whatnot, you know, see what they, uh, you know, what they tasted like and all that. Um, I did something a little different. I took took my vape, and uh, I took the uh, the can off of it. Okay, and uh, and dude was real cool with it. He was like, "Oh yeah, we can do that. That's no problem, man." You know, I was kind of like, "Man, I wish we'd have thought of that a little sooner." Um, so here's what we did and this is an idea for those that don't like you know put it on the tip of your tongue you know have an idea like that you know maybe say uh, you know to your person at the vape shop you know I'd like to you know test it out another way and here's what we did we uh, just put the drops right on the coil you know like so a little bit on that guy there a little bit over there a little bit right there and a little bit on that right there. Yeah, maybe run it across the coil a little bit, you know. And the main thing is when you go in, you want to, you know, make sure your tank is pretty much empty, if anything. You know, empty would be best. And then put your doggone thingy on there right there. Tighten it up on there. And you'll get that actual juice, you know. Um, as long as you don't go too heavy with it, you can, you know, go one after another after another. You know, kind of make them light. But yeah that was my thought on that I should have said something uh, yesterday on the video listening to the scanner there but uh, yeah so that's an idea so and that way you can get an idea of you know what uh, you know what it's gonna taste like what not and that that's what I like doing like when I mix them like this right here um, I just took a bottle that I had emptied once before and you know I got I got watermelon in here I got banana in here and I got a little bit of uh, strawberry custard in there and, uh, and that's how I make sure you know get it to where I know I'm gonna like the taste of it you know put a little drip on the coils and put the seal on, or the uh, tank back on it and just you know check it And that tastes real good. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. God bless. Take care. Um, there you go. Like I say, better than smoking cigarettes. Take it to the bank. I'm going to end up filling this tank up because uh, I got this one mixed just the way I like it. It was about that much watermelon, about that much banana, and probably a little less of the um, strawberry custard now the next time I make a mix like this I'll probably go a little bit more custard strawberry custard and a little less one of the others you know because I don't know it just works out like that but um, hey don't forget to thumbs down this video <laughs> don't forget to thumbs down this video ain't no doubt God bless you all God bless take care and um uh, Hopefully we get some damn mother nature around here and I can key and thump down my doggone radio and talk to my friends out there across the land because guys, if any of you are listening, I miss you. And um, I've been hanging out on Pal Talk a lot lately, so uh, you know where to find me over in Carpet's room, um, if not High Voltage's room. Um, we're not, haven't opened my room up in quite a while. Um, and just so you know, I haven't been in Zam Talk in quite a while neither. So, uh, I'll give you an update on that kind of stuff too. 
Like I always told you guys, when there ain't no conditions on your CB, where do you go? You go to the PC, go to Pal Talk, go to Zam Talk. One of the two. If you want to find me or any of the other guys. And there you go. Um, just let it out real quick. Carpet's uh, room is uh, channel 28, Good Time Gang. Okay, that's where a lot of the guys are um, for channel 28. And all you six runners are, uh, well, I'm sure you can find those. That shouldn't be no problem. But, uh, all right, y'all. I'm going to get on out of here, throw this video up, and uh, see how many thumbs down, thumb down, thumb down, thumbs down I can get on this cotton pickup. Bye. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Bye.